It's Domestic here and today we're going to start the brand new Le Expert Mode Let's Play. Now let's get right into this. We're just going to random it a few times. I tend that's how I... I just I can't even speak. Why do I never speak? This is how I always do it. I just randomise it. We'll just stop on one I like and... That's close enough. Alright. We're just going to call... Actually no. I am going to customise this one and have Misty back. My old, um, one of my old Let's Play characters, which are never fully completed. But I feel like she should return, actually, and I'm gonna make her look different. I'm trying to remember what she looked like. She had light skin. That seems about right. I think, I think this is fine. Otherwise, you know, the hair was red redder than that. Uh, man. All right let's create this right now. Misty 2.0. All right we got that. Now let's make a brand new world. Now I already have a whole bunch of worlds here. I've made a lot just to just to get see how things are in expert mode. And yeah. And I think we're going to call it Misty's Round. There we go. Yes, we got corruption, which means we can get the worm scarf. Right, guys, we're there. Right, now let's find it. Right, so just to let you guys know, this is a normal expert mode playthrough. It's not going to be like a specific class like mage or anything because I find it really hard to stick to some of the things in expert. But yeah, let's get straight into this. And apologies for any noise in the background, that's just my guinea pigs. And I should have gone for the big tree rather than the old slime already. I'm overreacting already. I will be putting um, cuts and edits in this video, so I, I don't intend to keep it like the same. Oh, and I just made another workbench. I'm so stupid. Oh yeah, I forgot they can attack. You think I'd know from doing it, but then all my NPCs always die. Alright, now I'm just going to explore the world, because on my other world, I managed on the first day to get at least six life crystals, which is an achievement. I'm being killed. I'm pretty sure the co-op let's play I will try to do if I ask for I've killed you know most of the bosses maybe the moon lord which might be difficult and I'm dead. They are so OP. Well not really. I've noticed though apart from them stealing your money chess slimes can sometimes spawn with goodies inside them which is really good because every time I seem to find them they've always got potions. Oh no they're back. This is not as bad as the goblin invasion I tried doing. I had wooden armor. Dead again? <laughs> I don't like slimes. Slime's gonna steal it, isn't he? Don't you go near that. No, I'm gonna have to kill you. What? Oh, you know, you can, you can keep the gold coin. I don't know if it's worth to kill the slime for gold. I mean, it obviously is. 
Oh, let's get him. I want that gold back. And he's gone. Ah, that, that's, that's expert mode for you. Enemies can steal your money. And I've got some healing potions now. Right, let's get into this. Oh, I know I need to, oh, I was about to say, I need to go back upstairs, upstairs, back up to get a chest, but, you know, luck has it, there's one right here. Please, there's something good. It's godly, so, better than nothing. Right, let's loot this. I have noticed with this update, there are quite a lot of frame rate issues and sometimes really weird bugs. It's not very often, but, yeah... I want to get out of this place now. Good thing I've got some rope. Rope is like the best thing you can get, but you can also make lots of different new types of ropes. If I can find the guide to plant, I forget what how I say it. If I get the guidebook, I can make um, I can make vines out of the ropes out of vines, which is really handy because you can just go to the dun jungle or something and get them all. Right, please, that's something good. Please, please, please. Well, that isn't that bad. I haven't actually used the Wanda Sparking yet. For one, it's really, really terrible. Alright. I'm going to hope there's something else this way because I really need a radar. Oh, is that a living wood tree? Yes. And there's some kind of cave going down here. I think it is worth having a look. I just don't want it to go too low. Or I could just... Yeah, this is fine. This, this works out fine. It comes out from the tree anyway. I need to get up now though. I know it since the, since the 1.3 update, all the, the living wood chests always have both of the... But the living wood leaf wand and the wood wand rather than having one. Which is good because sometimes you'd have to go on double worlds just to get it. And that's just so you can place wood. And I know they've also added a variant in the jungle. Um, was there actually a room? Or am I going crazy? There wasn't a room. So I went in here for no reason. Oh well. Let's just continue the journey. And we found the snow biome. Which I could already tell because of the music. Wow. I really need to get some Hermes boots. Or something to make me move faster. As I, one thing I do not like is when you walk across a pre-hard mo pre, pre mode world. Or, you know, hard mode. And you don't have any fast accessories or anything. Like boots. Or even an aglet. And now I know not to go in the water because it freezes you. But, you know, no blocks. Oh, I've got to save the wood because I always end up using it all just to block off stuff. I know one good thing I keep on getting every time I play a world is the snowball cannon. Which, it, it sound, it's, I used to always think it was terrible. But against expert enemies, it's actually alright. Obviously pre-hard mode, not hard mode. I just wonder when we're going to find the radar. I know I'm obsessed with that, but it's really good. It's one of my new favourite accessories. Because you can also combine it into one massive... It's like the, like the Ankh shield, except it's, the, it's a mobile phone, which is two different magic mirrors, I think. And all the accessories, which one drops off, one drops off the nymph. And I, I actually found quite a few of them in my other world. Okay, so we found the corruption. It might be best just to go back. And go back this way. This takes so long. I tend to make the house as soon as it turns night. It's just a habit now. Because I always like to check all my surroundings and it takes ages. That obviously means... No, nah, it doesn't mean anything. I was going to say it means the jungle's this way, but no, we don't know. Oh, 
so yeah, let me let me let me know if you guys like to like me to keep this series as a regular thing. I want to try and upload a couple, you know, each um a couple. What am I talking about? About one each day if I can. So if not, I can at least do a couple a week, maybe three or four. But I'm gonna try and upload every day. Because I want this to be one of my main series. Because it expert mode, it sounds like it's impossible. It is hard. But it's so much fun, and it's more satisfying when you finally complete something. And the desert's this way. I hope it's not the underground desert one. Because sometimes you think it is, but it's not. Because you've only got one of them. And may I say, I love the new fossil armor. Oh, strange plant, strange plant. These are so useful just to get new dyes. Yeah, I'm probably just going to make cactus arm. <laughs> I hope I don't... Yep, there we go. I was about to say, I hope I don't run into it, but there we go. It's over here. That's what I usually keep some wood for anyway. There we go. We've got across now. I hope we. I, one thing I haven't been finding that much lately is that is um is pyramids. I forget if that's what you call them. But every time I do find one, it's always the Pharaoh vanity. No, that gets me wondering why don't you at least get some kind of defense boost for the Pharaoh set? Because it usually get that more than the flying carpet. I hope we find um, more chests. Otherwise, it's caving, which I'll probably end up doing next episode. Just because it kind of goes really quick. You see, it's, it's already night time. And one thing I'm also going to be doing is lots of fishing quests because I, I um, I know one of the best things you can do when you get to hard mode is fish up crates. And in expert mode, it is really good to do it because it can be really hard to mine the ores. Uh, when I got to hard mode, it is like impossible to keep doing it because of all the hard mode enemies that spawn. I must, can't even see anything. Wow, I died. Oh no, I dropped 11 gold. Wow. Just like that, I am. Do I have money again? And I can see the jungle, actually. So I'm, I'm gonna build the house now, guys. And I'll probably see you guys back ne back in the next episode. And I'm sorry I always mutter my words. I just always seem to do it. Oh my gosh. The zombies are so much more annoying in expert mode because they can sometimes carry their arms and then swing them as swords. You probably got you probably some of you guys already probably know that though because you probably got your own expert mode playthroughs. Oh, there's the guy. This will be the guide's house. Well, let's get all this built. We need to get him a chair. Where's a chair? Up at the top. See, I do like the new crafting in interfaces, but I'm so used to the old version. Right, now let's get some walls. Oh, and a door. Must not forget the door. But yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it here, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, which, you know, it should come out maybe the day after this or the one after that. So thanks for watching and see you later. Why is building? I just noticed there's a pinky. We have to kill this because I kind of lost my last gold coin to a zombie.
visual bonus footage. See you guys in the next episode. This after just killing another ping, killing a pingy, there's another. go that is two pinkies i'm gonna keep my eye out in case it happens again but yeah like i said bonus footage